Yeah. So, okay, guys, uh, we do some lip trills. So, can you guys start? Go ahead. Five, six, make sure I got the words right. 
Pick up sticks, there we go. All right, so, um, Jackson, give me a visual for pick up sticks. <laughs> Perfect, all right, so let's start from, let's do five, six, okay? So same thing, five, six, pick up sticks. All right, Jackson, do it with me. One, two, ready? Five, six, pick up <laughs> sticks. All right, everybody got it? Clap twice. Awesome, all right, so starting from one, yes? One, two, ready, and. One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Okay, we're gonna add one more thing to this, okay? I see Ashley already doing it. Breath. Everybody breathe in. Big 
Give me a number. Jillian, give me a number. Out of one to ten? Yes. Seven. 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 Right, we're starting from seven. Seven, eight. What is seven, eight? Right. That's great. Awesome. So, let's go. One, two, ready, go. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, big fat head. Awesome. Sound good? Everybody good? Cool. Let's start from one. One, two, ready, and. One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, big fat hen. Cool. Everybody got it? One more time, we got it? Yeah, I want you to do that, and I want you to just try to increase the tempo. Increase the tempo? Yeah, it's going to drive them crazy. Easy for me to say, but the kids will love it. All right, yeah, let's do it. All right, so. I want you guys to listen to this. I'm going to do the first two. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, ready? One, two, tie my shoe. Three, four, shut the door, right? Everybody got it? Okay. Yeah, so let's keep it, keep it pumping, yeah? One, two, ready? One, two, tie my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up six, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, pick up seven, ten. All right, let's go one more time, all right? One, two, ready, go. One, two, tie my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up six, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, all five. Okay, uh, um, students, how would you cool. describe that last tempo that we just did? Hard. <laughs> really, really, really fast. Would you say it was lively? Well, there, there actually exists a musical term that we use in, 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 in the professional music world, and we say allegro. Can you say allegro? Allegro. Okay, good. So now we're going to try this one more time at an allegro tempo. Okay. So the, this is the point I was I trying you. to get at. I got so you. So what, what, if I were to do this and refine it, you guys can relax for a second. Um, what I would do is I would. I, I would have used, uh, first of all, wonderful job. Um, the, what I would have done there at the end is say, okay, one, two, time my shoe. How would you describe that tempo? Well, that's actually um, uh, largo in musical terms. So like, we would say largo. And then, and then you just keep taking them through different tempos. And then before, and then after a while of teaching them, you're like, okay, can we do this at an allegro tempo? And they know what that means. As okay. opposed to us just like spoon feeding them and say, okay, let's just go really fast now. But let's go at allegro. Let's go at presto, prestissimo. And you can, you can build in these other terms. Okay. Um, let's so, see it. yeah, so that, that is one thing where you could have, you could have included a little bit more. And I'm, I've, I, I've, I wasn't expecting you to get that, but I'm just throwing out some ideas. Okay. So when you did the lip trill in, um, in the beginning, uh, you had a go I probably would have just tried to include just a little bit more oral kinest kinesthetic. And just so they understand that they're getting that range of motion. And it's also helping them to warm their bodies up a little bit more. And you, um, and you can also kind of um, try to uh, fit in a little bit of teaching moments in terms of why we're doing that. Because we're trying to strengthen all registers. You know what I mean? And so varying that would have, would have been helpful too. Um, I like, I really like the use of, of questions. And just holding, even at this age, just holding every kid accountable. And just asking why we're doing something. That's, that's such, that's, that's very much of the method and that's why we do things. Um, nice use of clapping as a response rhythmically. Again, this keeps them engaged. And even like choir directors will have a call, or band directors, as you know, to get people quiet, you know. Um, whether it be a rhythmic clap or something else. So I think that this, is, this is always effective from the earliest um, on up. I like that you went into modeling right away. Um, again, it's, it's all about the doing, and monkey see, monkey do. They, they're going to see what you do, and that's going to give them. Even in choir directing, we say modeling something is worth a thousand words because they get so much information just out of one phrase of singing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, <clears throat> nice delegation of uh, students creating hand signs and getting them all involved. Um, what does this accomplish? Let me ask you that. Uh, it, I mean, it, it keeps kids involved. We're like from an educator standpoint, it gives you one less thing to do. Yeah, but more so, importantly, what does it do? Uh, it gives kids a vested interest in what we're Think doing. about bullets number seven and eight. 
Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure exactly. Improvisation and creativity. Okay. You are you are you are letting them compose. Um, uh, you are letting them compose choreography. You are letting them be an integral part to the creation of, of an organic art piece right here. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, that makes sense. And so you, you didn't realize that you were doing that, but that's what you were doing. Um, when you count off, think about singing the count off so that, that you're always instilling the pitch in their head so they're always into, okay, everybody, let's go and one, two, three. I would get in the habit of doing that. I think counting off the pitch is always an appropriate thing to do because you, you prep them and it's easier. Um, I really, really appreciated um, the, because you get them riled up and, and they're, they're having a ton of fun and then you have them go, that's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that would qualify under mini relaxation activity. Okay. Um, and you're, you're resetting them, and you're having them breathe, and you're having them focus, and you're having them slow down. And every time you did that, 